Do you want results next time you go trout fishing? Get yourself a set of trigger spoons and put a limit on the stringer. They flat out produce. Fish on the maglev. Oh man, I can't even get it out of the rod water. <laughs> wow. Now, that was a hit. Holy mackerel. That was orange and gold. It's one I've, I've always liked the way it looked, but I, I've never tried it, so. Well, I've tried it now for maybe five minutes and I got a fish on it. Golden orange maglip. Going, I don't know, 2.4, 2.3. Big fish, big, big, heavy rainbow. There we go, in the net, right there, look at that. Couldn't lay off that mag lip. Right there, kabam. <laughs> the Trigger Spoon Junior, small spoon, big results. Get on over to fishhuntshoot.com and get yours today and you'll be yelling fish on tomorrow. Just like that, baby. Howdy folks, Kel Kellogg here. Well, today I'm taking a crack at one of the age old questions that confronts trout anglers. What is better for really big trout, minnow plugs? or large spoons like this Trigger Spoon Magnum right here. And uh, before I get into what I think is better, let me throw out this disclaimer. I am not a trophy hunter. Um, the guys that go out and pull size 18 Rapalas all the time and that's all they pull, they catch some huge trout, but they pretty much take trout that are, you know, from pan size all the way up to five pounds off the menu. They catch a few, but basically they're putting in their time and they're only interested in catching those fish that are five plus pounds, typically brown trout. Uh, my deal is I love to catch big trout, but I also love catching, you know, those pan sized fish, those one pounders, three pounders, five pounders. So rather than just pulling big plugs all the time, I like to pull, you know, plugs, spoons, lures that have appeal to large fish, but aren't so large that I can't catch medium to small size fish on them as well. I want to maximize my hookups on the water while still catching some trophy sized trout. Now looking back over my fishing career, almost all the plus five pound trout I've caught have either come on spoons or flies. Um, so let's compare and contrast. Let's start off with minnow plugs. This, this is my thought on minnow plugs. I think they, like this, this is a, this is a J, what is this? It's not a J, it's a countdown number 11 uh, Rapala. So it's a sinking Rapala. Look at the price point on there. I don't know if you can see that. That plug was $10 on sale, okay? So that's one drawback, price. Second drawback, size of the plug it dictates a couple things. One, you're not gonna catch many small fish on it, and you also have to troll a plug like this very quickly. Um, I've spent a lot of time pulling big plugs. I've caught some big fish on them, but overall, like I said in the beginning here, I've caught more big fish on spoons and flies than I have on plugs. I think trout see plugs a whole lot more than they see big spoons, like this, you know, this trigger spoon magnum or this big old um, Lure Jensen coyote spoon right here. Traditionally, big spoons like these, they're intended for use out in the ocean for ocean salmon fishing, but I've found that if you pull them in trout lakes, you can do very, very well. And uh, some of the benefits, you know, there's, there's three main benefits. One, cost. This plug was $10 on sale. My Trigger Spoon Magnum, um, they sell for between four and five dollars. So about half the price of a plug. Spoons, large spoons, far more versatile than the plug because you control them at a variety of speeds and you can't really do much adjustment with the plug. If it's tracking off to the side, you could bend the connection point and get it to track true, but you can't really do much to alter the action. 
a spoon, you can always bend the spoon, you can tweak the spoon a little bit to dial in the action. You usually don't have to do that with my trigger spoon series because I think they have just about perfect action right now. But if you wanna make an adjustment, by all means, you can bend them, you can bend them back. Um, you can just dial this in at, at a broad range of speeds, probably anywhere from 1.5 all the way up to four miles an hour, depending on how you got your gear set up, how you're trolling, what you're doing. So just a lot more versatile, um, a lot more cost effective, about half the price of a big, you know, fancy Rapala like that. And finally, the third thing that I think really gives Big Spoons the advantage is the fact that the, the trout, they don't see many big spoons. They see a lot of big Rapalas. They see a lot of big flatfish. They're starting to see a lot of big maglips, but they don't see many guys out pulling salmon-sized spoons in lakes. Um, I've caught multiple trout at Shasta between six and eight pounds. My personal best brown came from Shasta. It was an eight pounder that I caught on, on, a, on a spoon. It wasn't one of my spoons. This was a few years ago. I caught it on a large XL spoon. So for me, hands down choice when it comes to targeting big trout, spoons over plugs. They're cheaper, they're more versatile, and the fish see them far less often then they see a plug like that iconic Rapala right there. That's my mileage. Your mileage may, may vary, but if I'm going out looking for big trout, I want to fly on one rod and a spoon on the other, and hopefully I'll have a big spoon like this Trigger Spoon Magnum that I can dial in at the two mile an hour, you know, speed range. I'll be able to troll my fly, my spoon at the same time, and uh, we'll leave that Rapala in the tackle box for when we're really looking for trophy trout or Mackinac, you know, the big giant 10 plus pound browns, the 15 to 20 pound max. That's when we'll break out the minnow plugs if you're fishing with me. But day in, day out, if we're looking to go big, but we're looking to maximize our chances of a hookup, big spoons, big flies, that's going to get it done for us. I'll be back here soon talking about magnum sized flies. So look forward to that. Um, I'm Kel Kellogg. I am signing off. Please take a second to hit that subscribe button if you haven't. And uh, if you're looking for trout gear, if you're looking for large spoons, small spoons, rods, reels, all that stuff and more, go on over to Fish Hunt Shoot dot com and check out my tackle shop um, fishing's getting back online you know COVID-19 the shutdown is kind of kind of moving back in the rear view hopefully things keep moving forward it is the time to go fishing so get on out there get your fish on and I'm looking forward to seeing your pictures if you catch some fish there's a portal here um, through the channel through the website where you can submit your photos and I look forward to seeing all of them thanks for all the support guys um, well over 3 million views, well over 11,000 subscribers, and none of this would be possible without the support of you guys out there in, in the fishing world. Anyway, I'm Cal Kellogg. You have a great day, and I will catch you next time right here on YouTube, guys. Thanks a lot.